This week on Report on Conditions, we'll cover commercial vehicle fire in Coachella, an outside fire in Paris, and visit the Hemet Ryan Air Attack Base for our Strong Work segment. Welcome to this week's edition of CAL FIRE Riverside County Fire Department's Report on Conditions. I'm Jody Hageman. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified when we upload new episodes and other exciting stories. Here's a recap of last week's statistics covering August 9th through August 15th, 2021. CAL FIRE Riverside County Fire Department responded to 3,851 incidents. Of these incidents, 361 were fire calls, and 3,277 were medical emergencies. Now let's take a look at a few highlighted incidents from last week. Our first incident last week occurred in Coachella, where on the evening of Monday, August 9th, dispatchers received multiple reports of a trash truck on fire on Frederick Street, north of Avenue 52. Firefighters arrived on scene to report approximately 35 cubic yards of rubbish burning that had been expelled from the trash truck. A quick and coordinated effort by firefighters kept the fire from spreading to a nearby date grove and parked vehicles. No injuries to firefighters or civilians were reported. Next, we'll go to the city of Paris, where at 2.52 p.m. on Thursday, August 11th, Riverside County Fire Dispatchers received multiple reports of a large fire to the exterior of a commercial building at the 2700 block of Paris Boulevard. A total of three alarms, including local government resources from surrounding areas, were on scene for about six hours to fully control the fire. This fire destroyed several pallets of masonry material and damaged one commercial building as well as one outbuilding. Two firefighters were evaluated for non-life-threatening injuries. Damages were estimated at about $2 million and the cause of the fire is under investigation. Hello, I'm Captain Richard Cordova, and I'm out here at Hemet Ryan Air Tech Base here in Riverside County. CAL FIRE has these bases spread throughout the state so aircraft can be on fires with 20 minutes or less. Today, we're gonna highlight the S2T tanker. Let's go take a look. Okay, I'm on final. I'll be a dog leg final. Okay, you got your final there, and you are clear to drop caution the uh, cell towers. 72 is clear and empty. Hello, my name is John Shares. I'm one of three tanker pilots here at Hemet Ryan Air Attack Base. Assigned here, we have tanker 72 and 73. Before coming to CAL FIRE, I was a military pilot. I flew in the Marine Corps F-18s. The S2T tanker is a two engine turboprop with 1,650 horsepower per side for a total of 3,300 horsepower. We cruise to the fire at about 250 miles per hour, but once we get there, we can get it slowed down to less than 120 miles per hour and again into tight spots, steep terrain, narrow canyons. Once we get on scene, we talk to the air attack and then we, we're gonna set up, our, set up for the drop. So this is our drop panel here. So we arm the tank um, and that turns on the hydraulic pump which actuates the doors. And then we set up for whether we're gonna go line or half a load or a third of a load. If we put it in line, then basically when you push the button, which is right over here, the doors are gonna open and then when you release the button, they're gonna close. So let's say you've only got a little short line you wanna make, you push the button and you release it fairly quickly. Um, the other thing that's here is the coverage level. So the coverage level right now, I've got it set on a coverage level three. And what that means is on a 10 by 10 spot or 100 square feet, you're gonna get three gallons of retardant at that coverage level. Congratulations to Scott Philippar, who was recently promoted to Battalion Chief of the Department's Emergency Medical Services Bureau. Chief Philippar has held various positions including Field Training Officer, EMS Advisory Committee Member, Community CPR and Public Access Defibrillator Program Manager, EMS Instructor in the disciplines of ACLS, PALS, and CPR, and worked as a subject matter expert with local EPCR program at state and local levels. Please join us in wishing Chief Philippar much success in his new position. We would also like to congratulate Patrice Sion, who was promoted to Administrative Services Assistant, Chase Quick, who was promoted to Maintenance Carpenter, and Rebecca Winsot, who was promoted to Deputy Fire Marshal. Congratulations, everyone. 
That's a wrap for this week's report on conditions. To stay up to date on significant incidents as they happen in Riverside County, follow Cal Fire RRU on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Did you capture any photos or videos from an incident event or something else? If so, email them to rrupio at fire.ca.gov. From your Cal Fire Riverside County Fire Department Public Affairs and Community Education Bureau, thanks for watching.